Hi, this is Damodar. I am your instructor for this course, Practical Machine Learning with Python. I have 10 plus years of experience in IT industry. From the past four years, I'm working on machine learning. I do have expertise in SQL development, SQL Server database administration, automation using PowerShell and other technologies. When it comes to the prerequisites of this course, you don't require any prior knowledge in taking up this course in Python. But knowing core programming concepts like for loop or while loops, if conditions, is going to be add-on, but it's not must. No mathematical or statistical skills are required uh, to take up this course. Let's have a brief uh, look at what we are going to cover in this course. So we will start with Python uh, and then NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and Seaborn. NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and Seaborn are open source Python libraries which are essential for uh, data analysis in uh, machine learning and then we'll get into time series wherein we uh, we're going to explain you how to deal date time data which is a bit different from other source of data and then we will get into the actual machine learning uh, part we will start with very basics and then we'll get into the basic project without uh, before we get into advanced projects uh, in basic projects, we're going to cover some five or six projects and then uh, we'll get into the project template wherein we're going to provide you an advanced project template uh, to, to help you, you know, in handling real-time projects. It will have the complete code and uh, a proper workflow. And we'll get into, once we complete project template, we will do some five to six projects that uh, together uh, around eight to nine projects in machine learning itself and then we'll get into the advanced topics in machine learning and then ensemble algorithms wherein it's going to be a mix of uh, algorithms that helps in increasing accuracy and then deep learning uh, once we complete the uh, machine learning part we'll get into the deep learning and then we'll get into regular expressions which is going to be helpful in uh, extracting or cleaning up data, which is very essential in NLP projects. And then we'll get into NLP uh, basics. Uh, NLP stands for natural language processing. Why NLP? Uh, most of the projects, 70 to 80% of real-time projects are going to be on NLP. So the requirement is mostly on NLP. That is why we have chosen uh, an NLP-centric course. And then we will do some five to six projects in NLP itself, and then you will end up with deployment. In AWS and Heroku, we're going to show you how to deploy a model. Let's have a brief look at what we are going to cover in each of these sections. In Python, we're going to start with very basic, like operators, what math library, how to do a basic math in Python, data types, variables, typecasting, etc. Uh, we are going to cover lists, dictionary, tuples, sets, uh, list comprehensions, anonymous uh, or lambda functions. We're going to cover in depth and we'll get into the NumPy, which is for numerical analysis in uh, uh, machine learning. And then we're going to cover pandas. Uh, pandas, will, uh, pandas, 70 to 80 percent of data analysis is going to be in pandas itself. But before we take up pandas, we have to learn NumPy, which is uh, very core, which is very, uh, you know, um, essential to learn pandas. And then um, we'll get into time series. As I explained to you before, time series analysis helps you to understand how to deal daytime data. And we will do a project also on uh, univariate uh, time series. And then we'll get into matplotlib and seaborn. Matplotlib and seaborn helps you to plot charts, oh, nothing but graphs. And then statistics will give you a brief overview on statistics, right from uh, different data types in statistics. Uh, what is population, what is sample, what is the difference between these two terms and different sampling methods, etc. And probability also going to be covered in statistics. And machine learning basics, once we complete all the basic libraries and uh, statistics, we'll get into the machine learning. Uh, we'll uh, take you from a scratch. I mean, 
uh, right from explaining you what is the difference between label and unlabeled data what exactly is labeled data and unlabeled data different types of algorithms how uh, machine learning predict things count vectorizer you know uh, tfidf accuracy like mae msc rmsc etc once we complete ml basics we'll get into the basic projects uh, like uh, simple linear regression how to implement it and multiple linear regression polynomial regression classification clustering and then we'll get into the actual advanced stuff in uh, machine learning like uh, metrics loss functions noise penalty what is roc and aeroc what is r2 score what is msc what is rmsc etc once we complete the advanced stuff we will get into the ensemble algorithms which is a mix of uh, algorithms different sort of algorithms that helps in increasing accuracy compared to applying a regular algorithms github we are going to have a brief overview on uh, this like uh, how to add uh, files to git repository how to commit it push pro we're going to discuss uh, i don't know uh, almost uh, one or two hours on github itself and uh, principally component analysis it's not just principal component analysis feature extraction feature selection is going to be in depth and then we'll get into the actual nlp uh, nlp we're going to start with very basic like name and entity what is a name and entity part of speech text screening engrams etc including tfidf and how it works internally so we are not going to uh, just brush up the concepts we're going to uh, dive deeper and then we as I mentioned before we're going to do six projects one on anomaly, de anomaly detection topic modeling sentiment analysis auto tagging text classification spam classification text generation etc and then finally we're going to close up use uh, in, you know in explain you deployment in heroku and aws we're going to explain you uh, SageMaker and how to create a bucket in AWS and how to execute a project, how to write a code and how to deploy it. And at the end, the outcome you're going to get by attending these courses, you will get at least two plus years of real time experience that helps you in getting for uh, getting job easily. Um, in order to uh, get enrolled to the next demo, you can visit vlrtraining.in. Otherwise, go to Google, type VLR training. Click on the first link, VLR training. Go to data science category. Click on DSMI Damodar. For contact, you can uh, uh, call this number 905-9868-766. And uh, the, we have a demo on 11th. 12th and 13th starting from 6 a.m. to uh, 9 p.m. and evening hours also will communicate that but uh, confirm it by calling to this number 905-986-8766 to get enrolled uh, here you have an option to register please enter your email and your mobile number whatsapp mobile number thank you for listening to this